Today, Kevin and I have some seasonal items to try for you. Two of them are Clancy's. I have the milk chocolate pretzels and the dipped peppermint pretzel stars. And then I have the stuffed puffs. This is uh, chocolate peppermint bark marshmallows, basically. So these are all various prices. Kevin's stuffed puffs were $4.49 at Kroger. And then the, uh, the peppermint was $1.99. The milk chocolate uh, rods were $3.49. So we're gonna start with just the, the milk chocolate pretzel rods first. Let's see, I would have thought, oh, right here. You wanna Cut. open that for me? And they, um, I thought they'd have a piece of plastic in the front. They don't, you can they're see your, wrapped. yeah, they're individually wrapped. Uh, pretzel rods, uh, which I think is really nice. Yeah, that is nice. They're pretty good size, too. Mm -hmm. well, it feels like Harry Potter's one. <laughs> I'm a homora. Yeah. <laughs> um, what is that? Expecto Patronus. Well, there's, okay. there's fat at the bottom and skinny at the top. That's what I'm saying. About. So, would you hold it by the thin end? No, the fat. Oh, really? Yeah. See, I it would always be... goes down a little point at the tip. Oh, I would have been more tempted to hold it by the, but, but that is more comfortable. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, uh, one pretzel, 40 grams is 170 calories. It is milk chocolate pretzels covered in caramel and milk chocolate with white drizzle. So hopefully we, no we taste some caramel. Yeah, they're a little tough. It's a layer of caramel that makes it tough. Good flavor though. Clancy's is an Aldi brand. Um, I would never get those again. You know, like them? They're way too hard. Though. It's too hard. Yeah. I mean, it's hard. Well, the caramel's really uh, tight and hard. It's all in my teeth right now. Yeah. All in my teeth. Yeah, it's the caramel that makes it that way. The, the chocolate actually is not too bad. And the pretzel itself is not bad, but that caramel, boy, is it, it's like leather. It's chewy to the extreme. Mm -hmm. It is more chewy than, I mean, at least when you get like a Brock's caramel square in your mouth, it it melts yeah. nicely. It warms up and softens a lot. This did not warm up or not soften. Really. With me chewing it, did not warm up or soften. What it did was made it worse uh, in my teeth. Um, I like the flavor though. I like the flavor, but they're so hard. Yeah, the, I would the never get those again. We, it's surprising. Right. I and would not have expected that. I mean, maybe if you, well, you couldn't heat it up in the microwave. I don't know. I would be giving those away. Do. I mean, yeah. I, yeah, those. It's you, the texture. It, it, purely texture. Yeah, because the, the flavor, is it's a good flavor. But, yeah. Yeah, because you get a little saltiness, you get everything. Uh, these are uh, limited edition dipped Pre uh, peppermint pretzel stars, white chocolate flavored. Uh, one ounce, 28 grams, about three pretzels is 130 calories. Probably have to cut that out. Right. It is not recently. I doubt very many people resell these because you don't get a lot. But I tell you what, they're really pretty. They are pretty. A little ton of peppermint or candy cane on there. Yeah, that, that is very pretty. I mean, there's a, I mean, that's packed. Mm. Mm. That is very good. I like that, the peppermint and the salt. That is delicious. Although, mm. they're a little hard too. Not nearly what the pretzel rods were, because the caramel was really tough, but they're a little hard. Not like really bad, but they just there is some crunch there. I would get those all the time. Mm, they're good. They have you can and it's taste candy cane too. Yes. You taste the candy cane and you get the little crunchy pieces. Mm -hmm. You can taste that white cream mm -hmm. and you get uh the, the crunch from the peanut I mean the uh, the pretzel and you get the salt. Yeah, the salt really that good. salt, if they didn't have salt on them then it wouldn't be the same experience. But because they have salt, it's perfect. Because yeah. you get sweet and salty in one snack. 
Those are delicious. I've heard. And, and I like it that the candy cane is good and sweet. It doesn't have like, like a too pasty flavor or anything like that. Yeah. It's just a really good sweet peppermint. And then I saw these at Kroger. And no, they don't really go together because Aldi and Kroger. But I thought peppermint chocolate, peppermint chocolate. Here we go. I didn't have anything else to put them with. These are chocolate peppermint bark cocoa marshmallows filled with pink peppermint. Two pieces is 140 calories. So one of these is as much as an Oreo cookie. <laughs> yeah, you think about it that way. And they're they're, <laughs> they're a big like a steak puff marshmallow. Yeah. Definitely a filling. Mm -hmm. Now, did you buy it? And I bought it sideways and you bought it from the top. <laughs> That's I really weird. Like, I don't like that. I never thought about that. Why would you bite it that way and I bit it? I was seeing where the layers were. No, that was smart though. I, I just didn't think to do it like that. I don't that. really like that. It's very too pasty. Um, it's not one, yeah, it w wouldn't be for me. And I the don't filling's hard. It, yeah, I don't think it's bad. It's it's not like it doesn't taste terrible. It, um, I wonder what that cream is made out or the whatever's in the middle is made out because it's kind of. It kinda says hard. pink peppermint. I know, but it's it's hard, like a really hard icing. Um, it it says roast it, toast it, bake it, melt it, snack it. Um, I don't, the reason I don't like them is because the peppermint has a, a toothpastey kind of flavor, mm -hmm. um, and you don't taste the chocolate really at all. But beyond that, it, I mean. I don't think it's terrible. Um, I've had stronger toothpaste flavor in other things. I have to. Um, but why would you pay? We paid four four dollars and forty nine cents for this bag of marshmallows. Yeah. Very very expensive. Yeah, so I would not do that again. Mm -hmm. I, I don't. Um, and for me, I would be buying these. I know a lot of people probably would roast them. But for me, I would just be eating them plain. Mm -hmm. So with them having that toothpastey been to them, I, I wouldn't get them again. Mm -hmm. Out of the three things, I like the peppermint uh, stars the most. Oh, 100%. I, those, That's the only thing I'd actually buy though, but. Yes, those rods, I tell you, um, it will be interesting. I'm not gonna encourage anyone to buy them because I don't want you to waste your money. But if you've already bought them and you've tried them and you had that same experience that we did, I would like to know because that would tell me that they're actually supposed to get be this way. I mean, but I can't imagine with all that caramel them being anything but hard. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's almost like you need to heat them up a little bit. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Which you can't, but you know, no, it's because like you, you would get melted up. chocolate yeah. everywhere. So anyway, I will have a picture for you all at the end, and thanks for watching. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Jingle